Hey everyone, I wanted to make a final episode here on my Core XY, this version of the Core XY anyways. So this is a printer I call Simple Cube um, for anyone who's new to the channel. The reason why I call it Simple Cube is I tried to make this printer um, as easy to build and using the most common components possible. So the main idea behind this printer is all of the aluminum extrusions on this printer are the exact same size. There's no drilling or tapping or anything needed. You can just order them cut to whatever length that you want and that's it. So for in this case, this particular printer, there's 12 2020 extrusions and they're all cut at 300 millimeters. That's it. That's the entire frame. Um, I have 3D printed corners here for better or worse. I do have some corner plates here to strengthen the frame up. Uh, the bed is constrained with four linear rails. Linear rails all throughout on the X here as well. Same thing for the Y. Like I said in previous videos, I did modify the Voron afterburner tool head. This does have a direct drive Clockwork 1 on here. And this is just running an SKR Mini E3 version 2. So this is going to be the final video, like I say, of this printer. I do have some ideas on what I want to actually do to this printer as far as upgrades and kind of rebuild a lot of it. So I am going to be redesigning this printer and calling it the Simple Cube Ultra, which I will make a much more detailed playlist and build guide on that printer. I'm going to be redesigning a lot of the printed parts. It's going to have way better um, bed leveling. It's going to have uh, a similar motion system to this, but I'm going to take some inspirations from the MakerBot replicator, that type of thing. So um, this printer is ready to go to a new home here, so I can start working on future projects. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to be doing my Delta first or rebuilding, like I say, uh, Simple Cute Ultra, a new one from scratch. And I'll document that in a much more detail than this printer. Uh, like I said in previous videos, this one was mainly just I had all these parts already left over. I built this printer a long time ago. I designed it a long time ago. I just wanted to finish it off and start fresh. Um, I can't really tear this printer apart and remake it because a lot of the parts from this would just be wasted and I don't like wasting stuff. So this printer prints fine as is and I can sell this to someone locally that needs a good functioning printer and then I can start from scratch buying the correct components for the uh, new new printer. As a little teaser here I can show you uh, this is actually the Y carriage here so some people might be able to tell what I'm doing um, yeah there's going to be quite a bit of improvements on this printer I'm hoping the printer should cost around $700 Canadian all built and it'll have a lot of cool features, should be very rigid. I'm doing a couple different things, like I say. So that's it for this actual printer. Like I say, uh, this Simple Cube Mini is completed now. I will create a new playlist for the Simple Cube Ultra and I'll go in much more detail on the build, like I say, with that one. If anyone has any questions or anything like that, please let me know. Uh, we're almost at 100 subscribers. I really thank everyone for subscribing. Um, I do have a uh, coupon code now with 3D Hub in Canada. Like I said in my previous video, I buy all my Fetus hot ends. They have some filament there. They have nozzles. If you're in Canada, for surely look into them. Uh, the coupon code is ROLO3D. I'm going to put everything in the link. Um, that is an affiliate coupon, so I do get a bit of a kickback. There's no extra cost to you. But it does help the channel, and if you need hot ends or filament, definitely check them out. Like I say, I'll put everything in the description. Thanks, everyone. Bye.